Hello, my dear students. Once again, I welcome you all. Today is Wednesday, so the class is for tenth students. In the previous class, we started the chapter nine, some applications of trigonometry. Also, we did two questions. Today, we are going to continue with the lesson nine, that is, some applications of trigonometry. The first question we are going to do today is question number ten. The question is: Two poles of equal heights are standing opposite each other on either side of a, an eighty meter wide rod. From a point between them on the rod, the angles of elevation of the top of the poles are sixty degree and thirty degree, respectively. Find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from each pole. So we have to represent the situation using a figure. Here, first I show the rod of width eighty meter. AB represents The rod whose width is 80 meter. Now, on either sides of the rod, we have two poles of a equal height. Let the height of the poles may be denoted by AP and BQ. According to question, the heights of the pole are equal. That is. Height AP is equal to height BQ. Now there is a point on the rod between the two poles. From this point, the angle of elevation of the first pole is sixty degree, and from the same point, the angle of elevation of the second pole is. Uh, Thirty degree. My dear students, as you know that when the angle of elevation increases, the point is more closer. That is, the point. If this point is C, the point C is more closer to the pole AP than that of BQ, because here the angle of elevation is sixty degree. And it is thirty degree. Let this is given angle one and this is given angle two. So according to question in figure, according to question in figure, we have to write a small description. AP is equal to BQ is equal to height of Poles. Let both are equal to x. I represent it with x. Both the heights are equal. AB is equal to width of rod that is equal to eighty meter. Okay. Angle one is equal to. Sixty degree and angle two is equal to thirty degree, which are the angles of elevation of the tops of the pole from the point C, which is on the rod. Let C be the point on the rod. Let C be the point on the rod. Here we have a AB is equal to 80 meter. We have two right angle triangles. One is right triangle PAC and other is right triangle QBC. From both the right angle triangles, we will find AC and BC in terms of x. AC plus BC is equal to AB, which is 80 meter. 
Hence, we can find the value of a x, which is the height of the equal, uh, sorry, height of the two poles. Here we consider the first triangle in right triangle ABC. I take tan ratio. Tan 60 is equal to perpendicular AP by base AC. Tan 60 is equal to AP by AC. That is tan 60 root 3 is equal to AP is X by AC. On cross multiplying, therefore, AC is equal to X by root 3. We have AC in terms of X, it is equal to X by root 3. In triangle QBC, in right triangle QBC, similarly we take a tan ratio, tan 30 is equal to perpendicular BQ by base BC. We know that tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to BQ is the height of the pole that is X by BC. Therefore, on cross multiplying we get BC into 1, BC is equal to root 3X. So here we have AC and BC both in terms of X. We know that AC plus BC is equal to AB that is 80 meter. Now, AC plus BC is equal to AB that gives AC is a X by root 3 plus BC is a root 3 X is equal to AB is 80. On simplifying root 3 into root 3 that is 3, we get X plus 3 X whole divided by root 3. Taking the LCM, so root 3 is the LCM, so x plus root 3 to root 3, 3x, three all divided by root 3 is equal to 80. x plus 3x, 4x is equal to 80 into root 3. Therefore, x is equal to 80 root 3 by 4. 80 and 4 will be cancelled. You get 20 root 3. The value of x is equal to 20 root 3 means that is the height of a, each pole is equal to 20 root 3 meter. Also we have to find the distance of the point C from both the poles that is AC and BC. Now AC is equal to x by root 3 that is a 20 root 3 by root 3 which is equal to 20 meter. Root 3 and the root 3 will be cancelled. And BC is equal to root 3x, root 3 into 20 root 3. Root 3 into root 3, 3, 3 into 20, that is 60 meter. So we have height of each pole. height of the pole is equal to 20 root 3 meter and the distances are twenty meter and sixty meter. Distance of the point on the road from the first pole is twenty meter and the second pole is a sixty meter. The next question is question number 16. The angles of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance of 4 meter and 9 meter from the foot of the tower and in the same line with it are complementary. Prove that the height of the tower is 6 meter. Here, first we show the ground level. The tower, AB represents the tower, two points on the ground, C and D. 
According to the question, these two points are at the distances of a 4 meter. That is, first point C is at a distance of 4 meter from the foot of the tower and the second meter D is at a distance of a 9 meter from the foot of the tower. According to the question, the angles of elevation of the top of the tower from these two points, that is angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary. Here C and D are the two points at a distances 4 meter and 9 meter respectively from the foot of the tower. According to the question, the angles of elevation of the top of the tower from these two points are complementary. It means that if you add angle 1 and angle 2, it will be 90 degree. So if you take angle 1 as theta, then angle 2 is the complementary angle of theta that is 90 minus theta. Two angles are complementary if their sum is 90 degree. So here if angle 1, that is the angle of elevation from the point C is taken theta, then according to the question, the angle of elevation from the point D must be equal to 90 minus theta. This is a question involving two right angled triangles in which the height of the tower, that is AB, is a common side. I will represent the height of the tower a B by the letter H. Now we will use the suitable trigonometric ratio to find the value of H and we will prove that it is equal to 6 meter. According to question, in figure, A B is the height of the tower. which is equal to h meter c and d are the two points on the ground at the distances 4 meter and 9 meter respectively from the foot of the tower foot of tower B therefore BC is equal to 4 meter and BD is equal to 9 meter let Angle 1 is equal to theta, therefore angle 2 is equal to 90 minus theta. What is the result? Since angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary angles. According to question, angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary. Therefore, if angle 1 is equal to theta, angle 2 must be equal to 90 minus theta. Then only if you add angle 1 and angle 2, that is theta plus 90 minus theta, it is equal to 90. So, we have angle 1 and angle 2. We have two right angle triangles in which AB, that is the height, is a common side. Now, in Right triangle ABC, right triangle ABC, if I take tan theta, tan theta is perpendicular AB by base BC, that is tan theta is equal to AB is H by BC is 4, let it be equation number 1. So from right, right triangle ABC we have a tan theta is equal to h by 4. In right triangle ABD, here also I take the tan ratio. Tan ratio of the acute angle 90 minus theta. 
tan 90 minus theta with respect to the position of angle 2 that is 90 minus theta perpendicular is AB by base is BD. You know that tan 90 minus theta is a cot theta. Here we use the trigonometric ratio of a complementary angles that is tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta and it is equal to ABH by BD 9. You know that cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. So I am taking reciprocal on both the sides. If I take the reciprocal on both the sides, the LHS will be tan theta and RHS will be 9 by H. Let it be equation number 2. So that we have a in equation 1 and equation 2, same LHS that is tan theta. Here we are taking the reciprocal. So I know it here. Reciprocal. From 1 and 2, from equation 1 and equation 2, since they have same LHS, we can equate the RHS. In equation 1, RHS H by 4 is equal to, in equation 2, RHS 9 by H. H by 4 is equal to 9 by H, cross multiplying H into H, H square is equal to 4 into 9, 36. Therefore, h is equal to root of 36, which is equal to 6. That is, the height of the tower is a 6 meter. So, that is all about the today's session. We will meet in the next class with a new lesson. Till then, take care. Goodbye.